My name is Adolf Pierre Louis and I'm a staff photographer of the Albuquerque Journal. I just spent a week in Port au Prince Haiti documenting the life of the Haitian earthquake amputees and um, it was a very intense week. I got to uh, visit uh, Handicap International which set up a factory a prosthetic making factory in downtown Port-au-Prince where they're actually feeding people who lost limbs with prosthetic legs. Uh, due to the, to the earthquake that happened in Haiti on January 12, the country is dealing with about five to 10,000 amputees. Right after the earthquake, people were trapped under the rebels, under the rebels for hours and a lot of them had to have their limbs amputated because that was the only way they could save their lives. And the people who were saved uh, with, ended up with crushed legs, crushed arms, um, again, green set, set, settled in and forcing doctors to amputate those legs and arms. Um, so right now, as we speak, Haiti is dealing with five to 10,000 amputees. They are only concentrating on providing them legs now, lower extremities, uh, because uh, uh, Handicap International and, may, and many other prosthetic making places in Haiti are concentrating on legs because they feel that they have to get those amputees some kind of mobility. and. So that's why they're concentrating on providing them legs now. It's a huge problem for a country like Haiti. Uh, to begin with, there was no access for handicap in any building. In none of the buildings in Port-au-Prince are equipped uh, to have handicap access. So the problem is compounded by the fact that you still have a lot of rubbles on the streets in Port-au-Prince, in and around Port-au-Prince, making it more difficult for those amputees to move around, to be able to go uh, to the market or to take care of their business. But also, um, that earthquake that happened on January 12 did not just affect Haitians. Uh, there's a lady who is an intern at Los Alamos National Lab. Her name is Krista Brailsford. She's uh, 26. She was a victim of the earthquake in Haiti. She was volunteering at a school in Darbonne, which is uh, west of the capital, Port-au-Prince. And on January 12, at 4.53 p.m., she ended up getting trapped on the a wall a concrete wall and uh, a day and a half later she ended up in Miami, Florida and had to have her right leg amputated. I also met uh, Rachel Gabriel who is a 30 year old a single mom living in the post martian area in Port-au-Prince. She became a victim of the earthquake. She had to have her left leg, leg amputated. But what I saw in both Rachel in Haiti and Krista here is a certain will to live, a can-do attitude that's carrying both women and pretty much making them do whatever they want in life. They are extremely strong women. Both women are extremely strong. The fact that they are not letting losing a leg stop them stop them from accomplishing what they want to do in life what i saw in rachel uh, the single mom the 30 year old single mom in haiti is uh, that will to live that will to conquer whatever challenges that life throws at you including losing your limb in an earthquake in haiti